you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. It's dramatically new. It's made possible only through years of research, invention, and innovation. So cliche, g'day folks, and welcome to episode two of World in a Jar. Uh, as I mentioned at the end of last episode, I was going to start expanding some area out here for an orchard, of which I have done. And so I'm going to put a house over here, a little staircase up there. I'll tell you about that in a sec. I'm going to yeah expand this further, uh, but this is my little uh, tree farm for the moment as it is. Uh, now, you guys remember in last episode, I did mention the knowledge about sponge. In every every single one of these jars, there is a piece of sponge for you to collect. It's one of your quests. So clearly I know about the game. And one thing that I did learn from a, another YouTuber was that basically in these jars, you do not leave any block unopened. So I know that there's a nice little surprise in here for me. Here it is. There's stoof. There's stoof. Yay! Found the secret room that wasn't overly secret because I knew about it. Yay! You're gonna like this, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit special, isn't it? Let's just do this the easy way. There we go. And same in this one as well. So that's lovely. Uh, I'm just gonna take this down. One thing I, I mean, I know that there is sponge in every single one of these jars, but I do not know where it is. Um, I will say at least that much. But I'm not going to leave any corner unopened. Completely devastate this. Where are we doing? No, it's not hiding there. Basically, if I could see at least one side of a block. Eh, Alright, it's clearly not up here, but that's alright. Um, I'd rather not leave this messy, though. Sorry about the boredom factor here, folks. Oh, a little lonely creeper over there. I'm really curious to know about that cobble bottle. Whether it is literally just solid cobblestone. Or if it's, it, it could be a mossy cobble. I can't see from here. That'd be nice. Anybody who's anybody knows that I love my mossy cobble. Probably most out of any of the, uh, the building blocks. Oh, except uh, stained glass at the moment is very quickly becoming a favourite. It's a crowd pleaser. It's definitely a crowd pleaser. Actually, this gives me a really good view of the mushrooms over there. Wouldn't mind heading there today as well. Uh, but first and foremost is starting to organize some of the animals. I would like to uh, to have an area somewhere as well that is a controlled hostile mob spawning area. So they can spawn, I can fight them, gather their resources. I don't know, I was thinking about it earlier, I don't know if one of these jars is a villager jar. If we've got an NPC village going on somewhere here. If the sponge isn't up here, I've really wasted mine and your time, but uh, oh, well, it's Minecraft. Shut up. Um, yeah, as I was saying, don't know if one of these jars is an NPC village of jar. If not, it means I'm going to have to whack a whole heap of zombies to get carrots. Because uh, without carrots, oh, maybe I should have left that. It's clearly no sponge up here. Uh, without the carrots, I can breed no piggies. Um, and I don't know if they've actually updated this map. I don't think they had. Oh no, because they had that sign saying 1.3, didn't they? They will have to update it soon because we're going to need horses. And for that too, we would need... I mean, I know you can do it with the golden apples, but that's uh, that takes gold ingots to create the golden apples, whereas a golden carrot is nuggets, uh, which is a lot cheaper. So, yeah, I am actually hoping that one of the jars is an NPC village. I would imagine that it is be a bit silly to not be you know all right so yeah as you can see I've just started a little pathway here we do have some mobs there and one other thing just to save the ease of viewing as well uh, one moment while I just this wheat is just taking ages to grow I'm just trying to get enough for the moment so the uh, 
the pumpkins don't squish my tilled soil. As I was saying though, for ease of, of watching, I cleared out this bottom area, but as a treat, I've left the pretty stuff. See, look, there's even emeralds in this one. So I can I go ahead and collect these now. Oh, that's just great. Oh, that's right. No, because I've got the diamond stuff now too. I thought you guys would at least want to see me grabbing some of these the diamonds and the emeralds there. There was redstone, but I mean, I'm not going to be using that to create anything. So not unless I have to. I should check up on the quests. And yeah, this is just a starter because there's... Um, this pretty much reaches the top. Shall I go? No, I don't have cobble on me. That's all right. So first things first, as I did say, I want to make my way over to the animals. So I'm just going to put some of this stuff away. Make sure I am protected. Let's get a diamond sword out. Chuck some of this other stuff away. Where's all the good bits? There, 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 there. And I'm putting blocks in here, 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 and here. Actually, you see the signs in there too. Fantastic. One of each won't need that. Definitely won't need hoes. I oh, need yeah, one of them. And I probably will go through the shovels and the pickaxes. Okay. The mind has been changed. I can't make my way over there um, without... Well, I can. I can use dirt, but I, I don't want to. I want it to all be cobble. So I'm going to do that that brand new fangled time lapsey thing that I'm starting to really fall in love with um, in hopes that I find the um, sponge. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for, guys. I knew I could hear the lava, and one of the top uh, quests in this is to build a cobblestone generator, so I knew that they uh, couldn't do it over in the, uh, the nether area because you can't place water. And I've been hearing that bubbling away by my chests for a little while now, so I just don't know how big it is. Okay, it's there. Hmm. That's serious. If you guys heard that, that was not me. That was a motorbike. Okay. Hey! <laughs> I was not expecting that. Yay! Sponge! Yay! Carrots got to sponge! Woohoo! <laughs> so, um, okay. Let's just derp around then, shall we? Jar number one, tick. I'm going to quickly pop this in my, um, my ender chest. Because I don't trust myself. What else can I get rid of? I can chuck that in there. So now, now I've got that. I've got enough to. Uh, I've got enough cobble to go across here as well. Let's see what we've got.
I'm totally guessing, seeing as this is a big ass jar of water, that the uh, the sponge has got to be in the lid of that one as well. Otherwise, you'd be able to see it. Mm. Mushrooms. That's empty. I wonder why that's empty. I do not know. Okay. Do they have any? No, that's all right. So there's no clearly no sponge in there, is there? I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with a big jar of water, but uh, what else? Uh oh. No. Oi. <sighs> Where does sponge? Really? But where is it? Can you guys see it? Quick, yell at the screen. I promise I'll be able to hear you. That's stupid. Where's the sponge, man? Hmm. guys leave a that's not sponge there is it that's uh that's bedrock leave me a comment guys if you've played this before and you know where the sponge is it's not underneath the bedrock is it i don't know but i have sponge piece number one so uh that makes for a very happy cat a happy carrot and a derpy cow hmm interesting very interesting indeed uh yes yeah, so this is the end of episode two boys and girls i hope you've enjoyed it i did succeed in getting the sponge and a few other bits and pieces uh, some diamond gear i'm gonna make a stairway up to the mushroom area tomorrow um maybe open up uh, what i'd actually like to do is just smash the glass between the animal pens and just put dirt down so they can roam together but i will have to make sure that i fence it off because they're idiots and they'll fall off <laughs> okay guys so remember to uh, to like and su subscribe if you haven't any comments down below let me know what you think if there's something you'd like me to do so on and so forth etc 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 and again remember to um let me know if you know where that the water jar sponge is because that's um it's a little bit annoying. I, I don't know what to think about that. Anywho, say good day to your neighbour.